Hi, I want to talk a little bit today about millennials, right? We don't hear enough about millennials. Well, I want to tell you something. It's been interesting as a person in the real estate business to watch the, the progress millennials have made, you know. Uh, millennials are now buying homes. In fact, they're buying more homes than any other group. Um, they are actually driving real estate right now. I had a guy uh, bought a house. He was looking for a house. He, he couldn't believe how many people were out bidding him. And, and he said, who are these people? I said, they're just like you. They're other millennials. Nah, they're not. They don't have that much money. Well, we sat around and watched, and guess what? I was right. And then um, well, millennials led all generations of home buyers last year. In fact, their home ownership rate is 47.9%. That's got to be surprising to you. It was 40 just three years ago. So they're definitely coming into the market. Um, and they are causing, they're a big factor why we're running out of homes, why inventory is so low. They're not selling homes to buy homes, they're all buying, most of them are buying for the first time. But some fallacies, you know, that I heard, you know, millennials don't want to buy. They're too transient. They change jobs all the time. Uh, so that was the reason millennials weren't buying. And then there was the old, well, you know, millennials like small houses. So there was this big push a few years ago. Remember when we were all bought, they were trying to sell boxes in these little bitty mini houses? Well, guess what? Nobody really wants those. And then they can't afford to buy. Hey, they can now because they're doing it. They're the ones driving up prices. You take a young couple, millennial couple that both have good jobs, professionals, they're making good money and they can absolutely afford homes these days. Thank you.